The Chicago Bears have signed former Lions and Falcons cornerback Desmond Trufant to a one-year deal, hoping to replace Kyle Fuller. What is up, guys? I'm back with another Chicago Bears offseason update video. This news actually happened uh, yesterday, but again, I was busy, so I'm making up for all the news I missed today, so you'll get a lot of videos in your notification box. But yeah, man, I mean, Ryan Pace signed Desmond Trufant to a one-year deal. The details of the contract still are not known, but I would assume it's a very cheap deal, okay? Probably a prove-it type of deal because... Desmond Trufant is getting kind of old now. He had a lot of injuries the last two seasons. Uh, last year, he only played actually in six games, missed the majority of the season with injury, and the games that he did play was not really that great in those games. So this is pretty much like a prove it type of deal to prove to the rest of the NFL that he still has it, that he, that he can still play cornerback in this league, which I actually do like from Ryan Pace's point of view. Okay, If you're trying to replace Kyle Fuller, there's not really that many good options out there on the market. You're probably going to draft another guy maybe in the later rounds. You already have guys like Kendall Vildor on the roster, Trey Roberson, uh, Duke Shelley that could compete for that job. And obviously we know Jalen Johnson is going to slide over to the number one cornerback spot because he proved more than worthy last year during his rookie season. Okay, He had a fantastic rookie year, played solid coverage for the majority of the year. He got injured late in that year, but man, he showed flashes of absolute greatness. Like a lot of people in this league you know, I've been reading reports, I've been hearing what other people have to say, and a lot of people think Jalen Johnson can be a shutdown number one cornerback, you know, in this league. So we have a great corner in him, but we have other guys also on the roster that could fill that number two spot now. Now we get a guy like Desmond Trufant on the one-year cheap prove-it deal who's been a great cornerback every single year besides the one year with the Lions where he was injured as well. So I'm okay with Ryan Pace taking this risk because again I mean there's not that many great options out there on the market like Patrick Peterson already got signed by the Vikings uh, Richard Sherman is probably available but he's getting a little bit too old a little bit too slow for my liking he's still probably going to be a decent corner somewhere else but I don't think he'd be a great fit with the Bears so you know getting Desmond Trufant on a one-year deal I'm more than okay with that obviously I would wish we still kept Kyle Fuller but what's in the past is in the past you cannot keep Kyle Fuller now we have to move on and, you know, this guy would be a decent replacement if he can actually stay healthy, in my opinion. If you look at Trufant, he's six foot tall, 190 pounds, has decent strength. Um, Not really the fastest guy at this point in his career because he is 30 years old. So obviously age is a factor. And he had a big hamstring injury that kept him out for the majority of the year. So, you know, he's not the fastest, most agile guy anymore. But in a zone-based scheme like the Bears run, he could be a fantastic corner because with the Falcons for... How many years? I think uh, seven or eight years. He was a great cornerback for them. Okay, drafted in 2013, made the Pro Bowl one time, uh, was a part of some of their pretty decent defenses. The Falcons never really had great defenses, but he was one of the most reliable guys out there in coverage. He never really got that many interceptions. His career high is only four interceptions, which came in 2019 recently. So not really big at uh, you know, turning the ball over, but out there in coverage, you know, he has 83 passes defended. He's a great tackler, has a lot of knowledge of coverages because he's been playing defense in the NFL for a very, very long time. So he could also be a mentor for um, Jalen Johnson. So I think overall, man, pretty decent signing. Okay, low risk. Um, He might not even be starting games for us this year because I don't think, you know, the Bears are going to hand him this job. Okay, he's going to have to fight for the starting job with you know, Kendall Vildor, Trey Roberson, whoever else we get. So if he's here for that purpose only, I think that's a pretty nice move. Obviously, long term, he's not going to be in our plans because we have younger guys. Um, He's also 30 years old, so he's probably not going to play in the NFL for very, very long. But if he can be an average corner for us next season, you know, maybe above average, just be a mentor, maybe not even play, just be competition for other guys on the roster. That'd be a pretty good deal. And honestly, like, I never question Ryan Pace with his defensive moves because he always knows what he's doing with the defense. Like, practically every single move he's made on defense, drafting-wise, trade-wise, um, the signings he's made, they've all pretty much been great moves. The only thing he absolutely does not know how to do is build an offense, which sucks for us because <laughs> the NFL now is an offensive-driven league. Like, you need great offenses more than you need great defenses nowadays. So... It sucks for us, but I mean, Ryan Pace, I'm going to trust him when it comes to the defense. Again, I'm not expecting amazing things out of Desmond Trufant because he is older. He struggled with injuries, but maybe going back to an actual solid defense like the Bears, which still has decent you know, talent on it, like Khalil Mack, 
you know, Bilal Nichols. Um, as of now, we have Akeem Hicks. We might trade him away, but let's see what happens with that. But either case, man, we do have talent on the defense. We have a guy like Sean Desai, who a lot of people think is capable enough to handle this job and be better than Chuck Pagano. So he could have a resurgent bounce back year, which would be great for the Chicago Bears. Let me know what you guys think about this move in the comments down below. But as always, bear down. <laughs>